sorry about the not so good lighting. There's like no light in here. I can turn on the light. But with the light right here, I don't have to turn this one on. It's not just like manual. I think there's some other way. Like some other light switch thing we have to use to make that work. But I'll turn on a light. Yep, like I said, this actual thing. <laughs> so, I never used Lyft or Uber or any of those things before until today. I used them twice to go home. Well, to go to my destination and then go home and it was two different drivers I guess they just so happened to like be around the area or live in the area and they were able to take me to and from it's literally their job so it's not like I'm using them or anything I mean it is what their job is but it was nice like, at first I was really nervous, and I didn't know how to use the Lyft app at all. And then I realized, oh, nothing's gonna happen until I actually press, like, the button to put together the whole outing, basically. When you press select pickup or something like that, it's when everything gets started because at first I thought it was automatic and that he was already on his way and I'm like oh no I'm not ready yet and then I realized oh we have to press the button first duh so first time I ever did anything like this I just wanted to test the waters see how it goes and I see some people doing like horror stories about like uber and shit and I'm like oh my god what if someone tries to kill me or something? And I'm like, not trying to be dramatic at all. I feel like it's just because my mom is such a worry wart, she always felt like scared about me going out and about because I'm so tiny. Someone could just snatch me up and take me away. So I'm thinking, oh God, like what if I'm completely alone and defenseless here and something bad happens to me? But I'm still here. I'm not hurt. I'm fine. That's just me worrying too much. But I had the driver Scott, I believe his name was, and then I had James. They're both nice. I felt like Scott was a little more talkative and was trying to actually not have like awkward silence in the car, which is nice. And either or I don't really care because it's like I just wanna go home and be safe. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter, but maybe James is just like the quiet type. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. What matters is I'm here and I can show you stuff I got. And I actually like made a status on my Facebook. I was like, I'm at TJ Fridays alone. Like, I have a date with myself. And then my bestie Sadie goes, That's sad. Bitch, I'm trying to like do shit alone for once. Like, by myself entirely, and you're telling me it's sad? Really? I'm like, no. I'm like, it's okay. And she's like, no, it's not. I'm like, why isn't it okay? Can I just, like, do my own thing and not have it seen as, like, a pity party for me? I don't get it. But anyway, I have stuff. Gates. I keep seeing that mermaid purse in that weird shape that I didn't really like and it was the last one that was there and I had it in my hand I'm like you know what you keep staring me in the face I'm about to buy you and then I saw something way cuter and I haven't seen another one of it so I think that was like my last chance to get that bag and I was like you know what I'm just not in love with it and then keep choosing something else over it maybe I'm not supposed to have it you know I already have two bags in that texture like in that pattern Let's try something else. 
So I got this cute little glitzy unicorn moment. Bag in the shape of a unicorn. Got the gold chain and the black strap. It's really cute. I don't know how much it'll really fit. And then it says Love Betsy on the back. Really cute. I only paid $17 for it. It usually would have been $58 doll hairs. Dollars. That was like the main thing. And I found this Garnier Fructis Pure Dry Shampoo. Pure Clean Dry Shampoo, Zero Silicone. It has citrus extract. This is something I found actually when I was in the line to check out, but it had they have like a bunch of stuff up there. But I haven't tried this kind yet and I like dry shampoos for my actual hair. That way if I have a day where I can't wash my hair or I don't want to wash my hair at that moment, I can use this instead. So that's what this is. This is like my second time buying them and I told Zane he's the reason why because he sent me these and ever since I love these. They're green apple Jolly Rancher flavor packets they add to your water. And they're only like a dollar, so the six of them. And I just got two little Laura Geller things. Everything Laura Geller at my Gabe's is three dollars each, and that's not bad, especially for being like kind of a higher end brand. You know, like not just like a drugstore brand. So I did have one other one, and it fell out of my hand and under the display, like the stuff that was up up at the register, but it's like a display of shit. So I went under there, and I was like, you know what, I already have that one, but mine broke. I guess maybe I wasn't meant to get another one to replace it, whatever. I couldn't get it. It was too deep in there for me to reach. But I got a blush in Brighton Boysenberry. I thought it was pretty. And then I got a sugared bake pro eyeshadow in hyacinth i'd never heard of that word or name in my life so i don't know how the hell i even say that but it's really pretty sometimes you just have to dig for stuff even when you think you've seen it all because sometimes there's something else hiding in there but that's all my gabe stuff it was the main thing that I splurged on was my Betsy. Because this was too cute. And it's the only one. Like, you know what? Someone's gonna buy this. I might as well be me. That's probably one of the cheaper Betsy bags that I've invested in. Because usually, like, 20 is, like, what they want. And then, when I went into the actual mall, I went to Kohl's. And I was going to visit my wifey, but she wasn't there because the jewelry store she worked at is no longer there. It's like all torn down. And I was like, oh my god. I wonder where she's working now. So I just went in Kohl's and looked at the clearance makeup because that's what I like to go there for. And at first I had like a $9 highlighter in my hand. I'm like, you know what? I think I have ones that are cheaper than that that I like more than that single highlight. You know, it's Lorac brand. And then I found this set of Velvet Matte Lipsticks from NYX. I almost bought the Liquid Lip Kit, but one of the shades was one I had already. So I got this set. It has Volcano, Blood Love, and Charmed. I'm sucker for anything called Charmed because I just think of the TV show. I am the sun. I am the A. I am human and I mean to be next. Just like everybody else does. Ooh, I hate stickers. Yeah, they're so annoying. 
here it goes. Even the packaging feels matte. This one. Which one are you? Are you blood love? I feel like you are. Yeah, this has to be blood love because none of the other shades would resemble this. So there's that. Smell weird. I like it when lipsticks and stuff have like a sweet scent. But this isn't it at all. So the one next to Blood Love is supposed to be Volcano. That's what that looks like. It looks like a Kylie Jenner type color. The kind of nudey. Well, not in the thing. It kind of looks like it could be a nude, right? But on my hand, it's like that's like a berry shade. These are supposed to be good for... Is that only one month? Or 18? Yeah, that's 18. I was gonna say a month. That's like no time. <laughs> Alright. And now the other one. And this should be time. This definitely looks like more of a nude. The least in the bullet. So there's that. Sometimes I like colors like that, but usually I go for one that's like really weird shade, like a really bull ass shade, or like a reddish. Just something to stain my mouth what I like. But I never really like the gradient, or at least not like in real life. Some people can pull it off, but I don't think I can. I didn't check the palette, so God forbid it's all fucked up. I'm gonna be a little mad, but I picked the one that was behind the tester. I was not expecting to get this, but when I opened up the tester, I was like, Oh my god, the shades in this are so pretty. This is only like my second BH Cosmetics palette. My first one was the one that Bub's Beauty combined. Well, not combined, what the fuck. Collabed with and did. And this one's the Weekend Festival palette. 20 colors. $18. The packaging is pretty. It's supposed to be like a sunset moment. And then the colors inside are really cool. I think what drew me in is like the neons. Because I like eyeshadows like that. I'm all about them bold ass colors. Even though I barely ever wear them on my eye ironically. But I'm trying to get this thing out of the... There we go, I had to push it. This hair is weird, it's like you have to make it look good a certain way or it won't look good. But here it is. Oh yay! And it's in like perfect condition, cool beans. You get a big mirror. And then you have all these colors. I think what drew me in was like the green and the yellow. Oddly enough, and I like some of the blues. I guess I can swatch these, huh? Since I already swatched the lipsticks. We got Trixie. We got Candy. The K. Hit <laughs> Candy Johnson. That's not spelled the same. And we got Ultimate. That really pretty, like, frosty, metallic -y blue. Carnival. I feel like that's an appropriate shade name. It's like a gunmetal smoky gray. 
kind of weird that they put a color like this in this palette. It's like, it's not even a black, so why do we have a silver? But okay. Then we got like a terracotta color called Escape. That swatched really easily. Huh? Then we got Hippie, which is like a like a candy kind of orange. It just reminds me of like an orange candy. Then we have a neon pink called Dippy. We have a purple called Wicked. I like that shade a lot. It's like a sparkly purple. Then we have Magical. These are really soft. You barely even have to touch them. Really pretty gold. You could probably use that up as a highlight. Anyone that's like been getting those gold highlights lately could probably use that as a highlight. Just saying. Then we have a shade called Boho. It's kind of like that gold champagne color. I feel like we've all seen it before. Electric is really cute. And I'm not going to do that next, but it is cute. It's like a Barbie neon. We have a deeper purple, like, berry mauve color called Swag. We have Flash, and Flash kind of reminds me of something I've seen before, like, a billion times, but that's Flash. It's pretty, though. Then we have Spirit. It's really pretty. I found pigmented, but it is. Then we have Solstice. That is really pretty. And here's that electric color I was just talking about. I feel like the ones that don't have any sparkle are like really, really buttery and just swatch so easily. But look at that. That could be like a blush. So that's electric. Then we have, I almost thought it said France. I was going to say that has nothing to do with this. But it's called Trance. And it's a pretty blue. Then we have Palooza. Which is a really bold bluish teal. Holy shit. Look at the way they're showing up. Oh my god, this product has a lot of pigment. Then the one that I actually was really drawn to is straight up called Neon. Yeah, I really like that color. Especially since it has shimmer too. But look at that, it's like a family of vibrancy. Now we have two more shades, we have Euphoria. You know I love that word. My ASMR channel has the word Euphoria in it. And yes, it was before the BTS Euphoria stuff, so don't even come for me with that shit. Like, no, I like that word before BTS got a hold of it. So this is Euphoria. Kind of in that goldy, yellowy range. And then the last shade is Hipster. My fingers are stained. Another one of those that just pop right on your body like that because they're really pigmented and soft. And that's the palette. Like, holy shit. It's just as bold as what the lipsticks are. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, only $18 for this though. But they usually say that swatches don't really matter, and it matters how it blends on the eye. So, don't take what I say here. If we go and get this palette and be like, it swatched super well, so I'm really interested. Like, yeah, it's cool that it swatches well, and it's cool about the color. So I like the colors in this a lot. Especially the sparkly ones. But... It needs to blend well on the eye, otherwise it's not really going to do much any good for you. Like it won't. I even have like the colors on my jeans now. Because <laughs> I needed somewhere to put them. But yeah, that T 
tealish blue shade that was on my pinky. The Palooza shade, this one. That is only one touch to it, and it did all that. Look. But that color reminds me of my, um, whatchamacallit, color pop eyeshadow in the color Snapdragon. It looks pretty much exactly like that. So I really like that a lot. I feel like it's a little darker in real life. On camera, it might translate to a baby blue, but it's not like that. At all. But if you're like a eyeshadow junkie, and you love bold colors, this is just the palette that stuck out to me the most. And I was like, oh my god. Just the color story alone is enough to get me, because it's just like, it doesn't even have to make sense. It's just so many colors that I don't see all in one palette. And I was like, you know what, this isn't like nudie patootie and everything else out there. It actually is like a shit ton of bright stuff. And you got some neutrals in there. But the bright colors are enough to like captivate you. So that's why I got it. That's the only thing that really interested me from Kohl's. Other than the lipsticks. And that's everything I got, man. And then I have me a Diet Dr. Pepper. Because I never had one and I wanted to try it. I got it from Gabe's. And I had that commercial in my head where the guy is like, it's the sweet one. And I'm like, okay, well, let me see how it tastes then if it even is, like, any different. Because I'm a Dr. Pepper fanatic, so I think I could tell you if I felt like there was a difference. I hate it when I think of people being like, oh, maybe she's getting it because she's skinny and she wants to say skinny because it's diet. That's just in my head. I don't know if anyone really thinks that. But I only had diet sodas like two times now, just so I could see what they taste like. Because I know that, like, they say that you're better off just drinking the regular soda and that diet isn't doing all that much. But yeah, maybe it is sweeter because it doesn't taste quite like regular Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper has more of a kick to it. This is like a different flavor of its own. Is there aspartame? Yep, the aspartame. That's probably what it is. Caramel color aspartame. Aspartic acid. Probably tasting the aspartame. My dad doesn't like, like, aspartame and stuff in his drinks. It's probably what I'm tasting. But anyway, I'm gonna go. I just wanted to share what I got and my lift experiences. Just because they were good for me doesn't mean they'll be good for everybody. There's probably someone on YouTube that already made, like, a lift horror story or something. But with the drivers I had, they were nice. I gave them $5 tips because it's, like... I didn't know what to really tip them, and they went out of their way, so I gave them five, thinking it's fair, and then my card is on the app, so I paid like seven eighty three for Scott, and then like eight for James, so whatever. I guess because my sister has been in like the food like waitress bartending kind of industry for a long time she feels like everyone should have like a really good tip so hopefully I gave a decent one but that's all I'm gonna go now and oh yeah of TJ Fridays I just have mozzarella sticks some water and my pink punk drink which is the cotton candy drink and you just pour the alcohol on it and like the cotton candy melts away so, I only had one drink, but it feels like I had more than one because you can just keep pouring it in and refilling it yourself. <laughs> and, yeah, that's all. So, if I came across a little different in this video, it might be because I'm a little buzzed. 
at first I was like, yeah, I need water. Like, I'm definitely going to need water. There's no way I can go without water right now. So I think I took care of myself enough. Had myself a date with myself. Because <laughs> it's not like I was planning for anyone to come like to TJ Fridays and see me or anything. I just wanted to do something alone. But yeah, my cat and I are just relaxing now. And now I'm actually going to go. See you later. Bye. Be safe.